Hi, I have your file in front of me and there is a couple of things that you need to do and you need to know and I'm going to move over to my desktop for a second. You need to know that this TIFF file here needs a clipping mask. Okay, it needs a channel so that um, when it comes into InDesign, InDesign knows what to do with it. Okay, meaning to drop out the background. So I'm going to open that back up in Photoshop and I'm going to show you right away how to make that channel. Okay, so you can see here how um, I have your, um, I don't want that to dock with anything. You can see, let me hit the F key, so there. Okay, so um, now um, we are going to create a background of black okay with the element being white so what I'm gonna do is hit the magic wand and I'm gonna grab the entire background I need to um, I need to make this go up to a tolerance of 32 okay let me see now okay he's got things going on inside of him so um, I'm gonna do it this way I'm not gonna use the magic wand so let me deselect I'm gonna um, control click okay C control click right on this layer boom now I have a perfect selection for him okay now what I usually do Deanna is I um, I didn't want to do that what I usually do I just want to put that over here oh geez okay let me just go like this I have to hold the control key or command key so that that doesn't go in there I just don't want it to dock with that I know I'm being picky but that's me right you know me so um, now that I have a selection I want to zoom in and show you his selection I am going to um, subtract one pixel from this I think let me see yeah le let me see if one pixel is going to be too much so I'm going to go to select modify contract let me back off on this I want to show you what I'm doing from step one to step okay so I'm gonna deselect so how to make a a channel mask control click or command click on the layer okay I'm gonna zoom in let's go to select modify contract and see if one pixel is gonna be too much okay so I'm gonna go one pixel and no that was absolutely perfect now the reason why I did that is because I don't want any <clears throat> little white edge to show up and I'll show you what I'm talking about when I get it into InDesign okay so I went to select modify contract okay now I'm gonna go to select modify feather and I'm gonna feather it by one pixel okay now I'm ready to make this awesome alpha channel now how do I do it I just go to select and save selection I don't even have to name it don't even name it because look at now how it's gonna be named alpha 1 now the TIFF will work in InDesign it needed this alpha channel right here okay so I'm gonna save the file now remember how I did that I control clicked on the layer I went to select modify contract by one pixel then I feathered it by one pixel okay two separate things then I went to select and save selection and I didn't name it and now it's alpha channel now let me control um, S or command S to save and let me close the file now let's bring up your InDesign file now I don't have all your linked files that you used so some things aren't going to show up well but it doesn't matter because you can go do your fix now the very first thing you did when you brought this guy in was you made a box somewhere a big one and you didn't need to do that you could have just gone to file place you see where is file place and you could have just placed the tiff in but this is what you did okay whoops I didn't mean to do that let me cancel that okay so this is what you did I'm gonna select the selection tool in InDesign and look over here in layer 5 I'm gonna click this button right over here to grab it and see how the 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 real file is really just him but you actually brought it in with a big box now why is it green because you filled it with green or there was a green in the fill so I should bring it in by itself but I don't need to cuz watch I'm gonna just take the fill to none okay now just to show you that this is working 
I, and I'm going to delete this in a minute. I'm going I am going to make a box around him and I'm going to fill it with whatever color like a blue or something just so you see. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to fill it with this blue and I'm going to show you. Now I'm going to move it below him, okay? Now let's go get the real image which now has an alpha channel in it, okay? So all I basically need to do is go to my links palette <clears throat> Um, I'm going to right hand click. I clicked on this guy right here. There he is right there. And I'm going to right hand click and say relink. Now in the relink window, I here is his TIFF right there. That's him. Now what you need to do is click options. You need to click that options. Okay. And now I, uh, okay. Um, and show option. Uh, okay. So the next window. Um, all right, you needed to click show import options. Okay, that's what I needed you to see. Then click, because you didn't have that checked on your screen when I first did this. So now I'm going to say open. Now here, it recognizes the alpha channel. And that's important. A TIFF needs an alpha channel. It needs to have a mask, which is called an alpha channel. Okay, so when I click OK, it's now should be fixed. It should have been fixed. So um, let me see what I did wrong. Now it could be that we didn't need to have the big box around him. So I'm just going to re-import him and see if that works. Okay, so obviously we're just we're just experimenting here. So I'm going to select it and delete him out. Okay, now let's go to File Place. This is kind of what I thought would happen. And let's go get him again, but with nothing. Let me make sure nothing is selected. So look, I'm going to click nothing. Nothing is selected over here. Okay, good. File place, which is Command or Control D. Here he is. And um, his alpha channel should work. I'm just going to see if it does. And alpha, ch oh, maybe that's why it didn't work before. Um, I'm sorry. I should have made it say alpha 1. Okay, that's that's why it didn't work. Okay, I'm going to cancel it and control Z back until I get him back. Okay, um, so I didn't have to delete him. I just had to make sure that in the options when I relink, I named the alpha channel. Do you understand? Okay, so I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go over here to relink. I'm going to click him. Okay, he's on my desktop. Now that I've clicked show option, show import options, I click OK. I should have gone alpha 1. Now it recognizes this. Did you, did, did you see the change right there? Look, there's a white background and there's a nothing background. See it? Now we have it correct. And let me zoom in and you can see how his edge is nice and soft because I added a feather to it. Okay, now obviously I didn't need to do, let me move the links palette, I didn't need to do this background, but you wouldn't have seen the change if you hadn't have seen that. So there is your solution. Let me know if that helped.